This crime boss has a vendetta against Batman and Bruce Wayne. Hey guys, today I'll give you the comic book origins of Black Mask. Black Mask has become one of Batman's more noticeable villains and is set to make his DCEU appearance in next year's Birds of Prey, which I'm pretty excited for. But <clears throat> his real name is Roman Sierra Sierras. Sorry, Sionis. And he was part of a wealthy family that made its money by distributing cosmetics for people. They weren't so obsessed with their wealth, more about their stature and how they were viewed by, uh, by the people of Gotham. So they associated themselves with other wealthy tycoons and families such as the Waynes. And Roman was forced to play with Bruce Wayne with a young Bruce Wayne. Uh, but as he grew older, he began to believe that his parents were hiding behind masks, and they even refused for him to date the secretary of their company who he had fallen in love with. Outraged by this, he burned his parents alive uh, and, and inherited uh, all the money that was rightfully his. As he took over as CEO of the company, he was forced to step down because of a cosmetic that was apparently causing fatal injury to people that bought it. This was in turn then taken over by the Wayne Foundation and improved. Blaming Bruce Wayne, he dug up his father's coffin so that he could make a skull-like mask from the wood of it. Now that's pretty insane. Now calling himself the Black Mask, he created... Him and his henchmen, who he created as a group called the Society, as a society of masks, he basically started taking over some of Gotham's underworld. In fact, he tried even tried to kill Batman with a fire as well. Whilst Batman was investigating these. The deaths of many people which had been involved with the cosmetic that had cost Roman the company. Hmm. While Batman was investigating this, he confronted Black Mask about it with this, and eventually they started getting into a fight which broke out into a fire as he attempted to kill Batman with it, but he actually ended up fusing the mask to his bare face. He was then sent off to Arkham Asylum, where he would eventually escape and commit more evil deeds. He's got no powers, but he is a very interesting villain, and by far one of the best crime bosses in comic books, along with characters such as the Kingpin. But that's about it for Black Mask, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and comment what you think down below. I'll be back tomorrow to give you more origin stories. See you guys.